Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we are currently putting out. Pretty much every 48 hours, we've got some content going out to help you to grow and scale your training business, right? So don't stay stuck. And if you need to contact me or you want to contact me, there's two ways you can do that. Visit the, the, the link, the, sorry, visit the description underneath this video. And you will find two ways to get in contact with me. You can either book a free 15 to 20 minute call where we jump on Zoom. I can ask you a couple of questions, see where you're at with your business, see where you want to get to. And I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale what you're doing. Now, if you don't want to do that and you just want to send me a question, you can do that as well. Send it to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. I make it a mission to respond to all the coaches who reach out to me on a daily basis. So today I want to talk about the five roles that you will have as a soccer or football trainer. So if you currently have a business and you're working with clients either one-on-one -on -one, eh, in small groups or you run camps, you run clinics, you're going to be running a, a business where you're going to have a massive impact on the clients you work with okay and most of the time coaches don't understand this but the role that you play as a coach is very very important to to the kids that you train okay because a lot of coaches think oh i'm just a coach in the eyes of my clients or the kids that i train but really and truly you are more to them and now I've been coaching for a very long time now, over, over 13 years now, I've been out on the field, I've been working with, with players from all ages, all abilities, I've already now coached in, in three different uh, countries, and what I've noticed is there's similarities with wherever you coach in the world, okay, kids look up to you in a way that you don't really think that they do okay because with with technology now growing being more popular and and obviously kids living more virtually you are a very important part of their week right when they come to your sessions they come with enthusiasm they come with a love of playing uh, football they come with a lot of passion and you as the coach need to take all of that and make it make it stronger and make them enjoy what they're doing so that they continuously want to come back and and train with you okay now that's essentially how you create lifetime clients is by making the experience fun making the experience exciting making the experience challenging and pushing the kids you work with to the next level so the five roles that you're going to be playing in where in this type of industry and especially if you have a private training business okay are the following and these are these are roles that pretty much are things that i've noticed as myself when you know when i'm out on the field coaching or speaking to parents or promoting myself you know these are the, the type of roles that I find myself in when I'm in these type of environments right so the first one is you're gonna be a leader okay kids parents when they look up to you okay they look up to you because you are the leader of the program so if you have a business you're that leader of the program also not just from the business aspect but also the leader in the session. Most coaches, unfortunately, don't know how to lead a group of, of players. Okay? When I go out to, to watch a lot of uh, training sessions, this is something I do on a regular basis. I like going out, watching how coaches uh, work, observing, taking notes. I see that a lot of kids control, kind of, and are more in charge of the session rather than the coach okay which means 
coaches are allowing a lot of things to happen during the session, which is ultimately affecting their, their leadership and how kids look up to them. So leadership is really important. How do you lead a session? Are kids listening to you? Are they taking in, you know, are they taking your information in? Are they listening? How are they communicating to you? Are they communicating respectfully? Because if they, they communicate respectfully and they look up to you, then that shows leadership, right? And that, go, that works the same with parents as well. How do parents see you as the face of the company? If they see you as the leader, the go-to person, right? They're ultimately going to respect your time. They're going to respect how they communicate with you. And they are, they're going to want to stay in your program for longer, right? So the first one is leader. That's the first role you will play in this type of industry. You're going you're gonna to be a leader to the clients and players you work with. Second one is mentor. Okay. Now, mentor is really important because a, a mentor is something that a lot of kids need today. Uh, most kids aren't getting this at home. So when they come to your sessions, right, you need to be that mentor to them. So you need to kind of guide them. Uh, in the right direction you need to give them advice sometimes you know it goes away from the sport maybe you can give them advice on things they can do at school things they can do away from the field and um, just think simple day-to-day -day things that will help them with their day-to-day -day life okay sometimes these kids that you work with they aren't getting that mentorship at home so you as the trainer, you as the coach, okay, what the second role that you're going to be playing at some point during your business is you're going to be a mentor to the kids you work with. Okay, they're going to look up to you and they're going to want some advice on things that they need to do. Okay, and this might be things that have value on the field, but they, they might be things that have value away from the field. Okay, so as I mentioned things that they can do better at school, how they can get better grades at school, um, how they can stay a little bit more disciplined away from the, away from the, the pitch, um, how they can improve as a player, okay, guidance on how to get recruited to play maybe at a pro academy or college. Okay, so these, these type of things, and this is a role you're going to be playing, so as a mentor uh, to the kids you're working with. Right, and the third one is business owner. Hey, it goes without saying, if you have a business, then you are a business owner. Okay, so the third role you're going to be playing is you're a business owner, right? So that means you have to market, promote, sell your program in order to, to attract new clients into your business. Okay, so, you know, <laughs> at the beginning, when you first start your business, you're going to be the marketer, you're going to be the promoter, you're going to be the salesman, you're going to be the coach, you know, you're going to be doing the admin side, you're going to be the organizer, you're going to have a lot of different roles as a business owner uh, within the business, okay, so the third role you're going to be playing is obviously the business owner, uh, communicating with parents, making sure your sessions run on a week-to-week -week basis, organizing the times and days the tra training sessions run, um, you know, setting up monthly, weekly billing for, for parents so they can pay you, uh, generating new leads, uh, closing those leads, uh, converting leads into clients, right? So all everything that a business owner has to do to keep the business up and running are the things that you're going to be doing as part of uh, owning and operating a private training business. Now, the fourth one is role model. Okay, so I touched on previously at the beginning of, of the video, your, you know, the importance that you are in the life of the kids you work with, but you will be a role model to a lot of the kids. Okay, now what you have to remember and you know, this, I say this quite seriously because I see it with my own eyes. Right? Most kids during the week are, are very busy, right? And most kids aren't enjoying 
what they're doing during the week. But when they come to your sessions, right, it's probably the one hour in the week that they look forward to. I know for me personally, right, I'm in this office every single day. I'm If I'm not in the office, I'm out coaching, uh, working with clients or doing the work I'm currently doing with, with Pro Football Academy. Okay, So when I get an opportunity to, you know, to meet up with my friends or to, to play uh, football, it's probably the one hour in the week where I really, really enjoy myself because I can just let myself go. Right? There's no pressure. There's no, there's no thinking. It's literally you show up. You, you know, you're around people that want to be there as well and you're just enjoying yourself. So kids think the same, right? At school, they're very busy with schoolwork, with homework, um, you know, listening to their teachers, getting work done. At home, they might be doing homework and uh, they might have other commitments. But when they get to your session, they feel like they're free, right? And also that means that you as you become a role model to them. So they see you as the person that they enjoy spending time with. They see you as the person that is the leader. Again, touching on the first point, the leader. But ultimately they see you as, a, as someone that is a specialist. So if they have any questions, if they have any uh, advice, that they want from you, they're going to see you as that role model. They're going to come to you for for you to solve a specific problem for them. Okay, whether it be a technical problem in terms of their the game, whether it be how do I play for a better team, uh, how can I get scouted, how can I get recruited for colleges, right? Whatever it is, they're going to look up to you as that role model, as that person that that can solve all their problems for them. So. You have to be very careful about the way you, you, you conduct yourself, not just on, on the field, but off the field as well. Okay? Because sometimes the, the, the players and families you work with, they might live locally. Sometimes you, know, you might come across them away from the field, go into the, go into the local store, go into the cinema, or go into you know, a, a bar. Right, and parents and kids will look at you and see, right, okay, what is that coach doing? How is that coach dress dressing it dressing up? Right? How is that coach talking? How is he operating? Does he care or does he not care? Right? Kids and parents see all these things, and if they see passion, if they see that you're you're committed, if they see that you care, if they see that you love what you do, that's how they're gonna continue to, to come back and train with you, right? And that's how you build, again, long-term clients because parents and kids will start to see you as a role model and someone to follow, okay? And if you can get lots of families to follow you, that's ultimately how you build and scale your business to the next level, right? Getting results for families, helping kids get better, helping kids with the build confidence and making them better people, okay? Also, goes without saying educating parents as well along the way so the fifth one is disciplinarian okay now i discipline is something that i'm very big on okay i try to to improve myself as a person to stay self-disciplined every single day uh, with the world we live in at the moment it's very difficult you know you've got so many uh, distractions You've got so many people trying to take your attention away. Um, and it's quite easy to stay off track with your goal, your mission, right? So if you are a business owner, essentially your mission is to grow your business, build your brand, get more clients, you know, and keep the, keep the business going. So what I see a lot of coaches doing, though, is they get distracted very easily. And what happens is this distraction leads them away from their main goal, which is to help kids get better. Okay, So as a disciplinarian, not only do you yourself have to be disciplined with how you spend your time, how you schedule your day out, um, how you commit to things, right? If you're fully committed, seeing things through, uh, showing up to your training sessions with clients, 
putting on 100% at your training sessions, communicating with parents, being very disciplined in, in that aspect. So these are all things that you need to, you know, you as a person need to be disciplined with. And if you do that and you, you're, you're very successful at it, then you can teach that to the players that you work with, right? Also, something I see a lot of a lot of kids today aren't being disciplined, right? Where for whatever reason it's just not happening at home or it's not happening at school. So the little bit of time that they, they are with you is a great opportunity for you as a coach to teach them about discipline, right? How to be respectful to other teammates, how to make sure that they're punctual, arriving on time to sessions what they need to do to be successful at whatever they want to do in life. So being a disciplinarian doesn't mean just shouting and screaming at kids because ultimately that model kind of doesn't work anymore with the kids we work with. Now today, you have to kind of guide them, be their friend and show them the way in order to be successful because they aren't getting that at home. At home, they're probably being shouted at. They're probably... Uh, constantly being screamed at, whether it be at home or school. Unfortunately, this is the truth. So when they come to you, they want someone that, that is different to what their, their experience is on a day-to-day. -day, right? They want someone to actually guide them, to show them the way, tell them and show them how to be successful, whether it be as, as a footballer, or soccer player, or whether it be just as a person. Right? So you as a, a disciplinarian, you as a, the, the leader, the coach, and show them the different ways to be a better person and ultimately a better uh, player. So if you have any questions for me, I hope hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you've got value from it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Again, we're putting content every single day out for, to help coaches with their business to grow and scale. And if you want to contact me, Again, visit the description in this video. There's a couple of ways that you can get in contact with me. So don't stay stuck and I will see you on the next one.